What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a full body mat Pilates workout with no equipment. Don't let that fool you into thinking that today's workout is going to be easy though because uh, I'm choosing to do some of my personal favorite movements. If you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and start off in a warm up so you can come to a comfortable spot on your mat, whether that's cross-legged or legs out in front of you. It doesn't matter to me. We'll take the hands right to the tops of the legs and we'll take a big inhale right here, lifting the shoulders so they come up towards the ears, filling the belly and the chest up with air. We'll take a big exhale, open up through your mouth, let all of that air go. We'll do that three more times, big inhale. And we'll exhale, take everything down and back. Good, two more, big inhale. And we'll exhale, take things down and back. And this will be our last one, big inhale. And we'll exhale, let it all go. Good, from right here, the legs are gonna come all the way out in front of you. We'll reach the arms out in front of us, fingertips long towards whatever's right there in front of you, and then walk the feet out so they're about mat's distance apart, a little bit wider than the hips. We'll take an inhale right here, sit up nice and tall. We'll exhale, draw belly button to spine. We're gonna push those fingertips forward, draw the shoulder blades apart for spine stretch. Good, once you get to that lowest point for you, you're gonna inhale at the bottom, you'll exhale, draw belly button to spine, start to restack your spine in space. Crown of the head is the last thing to lift. We'll do that three more times, inhaling up at the top. We exhale, draw belly button to spine, we're gonna roll it down, 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 draw those shoulder blades apart. Good, inhaling at the bottom, we'll exhale, pull things right back in, sit up nice and tall. Good, this is gonna be two. And then this will be our last one, big inhale. And then exhale, tuck chin to chest, draw those shoulder blades apart. Imagine I'm right there pulling on your fingertips to pull you forward, 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 we'll inhale at the bottom. We exhale, restack the spine in space, sitting up nice and tall. From right here, we'll open the arms so they come up into a T. You'll take an inhale to twist over towards the right, reaching the left hand towards the outside of the right foot. Good, we'll inhale there. You're gonna exhale, pull back up, de-rotate through center. Try not to let your hips move with you. We're gonna twist over towards the left, reaching the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Exhaling up, we'll open back up. Twisting to the right, this time we'll do a one, two, three pulse. One, two, three, we'll pull things up. We'll twist over towards the left. We reach for three, two, one. We pull things up. Let's do three more on each side. We'll go three, two, one. Exhale, take it up. Good, three, two, one. Bring it all the way up. We'll go two more, this is three, two, one, take it up, and three, two, one. We've got one more on each side. Three, two, one. See if you can pull back through your abdominal wall to really get that engagement in your core. Good, we'll take everything up. Your arms are gonna come back out in front of you. We'll take an inhale to sit up nice and tall. We exhale, draw belly button to spine. You'll start to roll yourself all the way back, rolling down inch by inch. I want you to think tuck and roll tuck and roll, tuck and roll till we get to the base of the shoulder blades, until we get all the way down. Head's gonna be the last thing to touch down. Once you get there, you're gonna lift your arms so they go all the way up overhead. Take a big inhale there. And then we'll exhale, lift the arms above the shoulders. We're gonna tuck chin to chest, draw that belly button in, push into the backs of your hips, push into the backs of your heels, roll yourself all the way up, and then take a big forward fold up at the top. We'll do that full thing three more times, inhaling up at the top. I need to scoot forward or else I'm gonna roll right out of this frame. We exhale, draw the belly button in, you start to roll things back. Good, and just let your heels slide back with you, let it drag back. This one's always a little bit tricky because your leggings start to pull with you. You start to rock around a little bit on the mat, that's okay, let it happen, big inhale. We'll exhale, lift the arms up above the shoulders, tuck the chin in towards the chest, draw the belly button in, push into the backs of your hips, roll all the way up, 
and then take that big forward fold. That's three. We've got two more. Big inhale up at the top. Exhale like I just punched you in the stomach. Pull your hips up towards your ribs. You're going to roll back inch by inch by inch by inch by inch by inch. Head touches down, arms drop overhead. Big inhale, we'll exhale, lift the arms above the shoulders, tuck the chin to the chest, draw that belly button in, push into the backs of your hips, do not use momentum to get up. Unless this is your first time doing a roll up, then you use momentum that first, those first couple of times, really. You can bend your knees too, plant your heels down if that's a little bit more helpful. Big inhale up at the top, we exhale, draw the belly button in, roll yourself back. So we're coming into some pretty deep spinal flexion. You wanna think about finding a C curve with your spine. Good. Inhale at the bottom. We're going to exhale, lift those arms up above the shoulders. We tuck and roll all the way up, pushing into the backs of the hips, drawing that belly button in. Your core is what's going to lift you up. Good. Big inhale up at the top. Good work. From right here, we are going to um, lay all the way down onto our mat. We've got a little bit more core work right here to do. Legs are going to go all the way out in front of you. And from right here, we're going to lift that right leg so it comes up above the hip. Now from here, we'll walk our hands up towards our right ankle. You're going to hover that left foot off of the mat and then peel yourself up so you come up into an upper body crunch. From right here, we'll do hamstring pull, pull, one of my personal favorites. We'll inhale here, exhale, we switch the legs. Inhale, exhale. Now we're initiating the switch of the legs straight from our core. So we use that forced exhale to switch. The force exhale is what's going to help us to activate through our low abs or transverse abdominals. You can call them whatever you want. Good. Next time you pull that right leg, it's a one, two pulse, one, two pulse, one, two, one, two. Good. Good, let's do three more each side. Three, three. We'll go two, two. Can you crunch a little bit higher for one? And one, good. From here, we bend the knees to tabletop, hands behind the head. We'll go right into crisscross, inhaling to pull that left elbow across to the right knee, exhaling through center, inhaling to twist over to the opposite side. Good. Now, if you feel good right here, you're going to straighten out through those legs every time that you twist over. So we'll bend in, we'll kick out, bend in, kick out. Let's do four more each side, four and four. We'll go three and three. Last two, two, one. And one, good. From right here, glue those legs together, lower them down to 45. Hands come out by your hips. We'll take that Pilates 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Whew. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. That's 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. That's 50. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Whoo! That's 80. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Last one, two, three, four, five. You're going to hug the knees in towards your chest. Let your head hang back and then rock a little bit from side to side. Take a nice deep breath. Good. Okay. From right here, your legs are going to go all the way out to straight. Your head's going to stay down on the mat. Arms stay down on the mat. We'll lift the right leg so it comes all the way up above the hip. Now from here, I want you to inhale. You're going to cross your right leg over towards the left side of your room like your right leg is a seat belt. 
Good, right hip's gonna lift a little bit off of the mat. The right side of your um, back is gonna lift a little bit off of the mat. And then we'll take a big exhale. I want you to articulate that right leg back so it comes back above your hip. We'll start to pull right about from the center of our back and from our, kind of like from our waistline. So we'll pull back inch by inch by inch by inch, trying to get that right hip back down towards the mat so that your right leg is all the way up above your hip. We'll do that two more times. Big inhale to cross that right leg over towards the left side of the room. Exhale, you wanna initiate this pull from the left side oblique. So squeeze in, 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 in. Good, get that right hip all the way on the mat. Good, one more time. Cross the right leg over. So this should feel like a nice stretch, right? You're like, oh, this is so nice. And then it gets not so nice. Pull in, 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 in. Good, that right hip is all the way down, right leg up above the hip. We'll lower it down, same thing on the left. Lift that left leg up, you can point the toes. We'll inhale to cross the left leg over towards the right side of the room. Left hip lifts the side of, the left side of your back. I don't know what words I'm trying to look for. Um, it's gonna lift also. From here, we'll pull from that right side. You'll squeeze in and we'll pull back, inch by inch by inch by inch. Now I typically have an easier time activating into my left side oblique, so I almost always feel things there, but we should feel more of a pull in that right side. Let's do two more. Inhale, cross over. Exhale, we're pulling in and in, in and in, in and in until that left hip gets all the way down and your left leg's right up above your hip. One more, we'll cross over. Good, and then pull back in, and in, and in, and in, in, and in. Good, left leg comes all the way down. We'll take a nice deep breath right here. Exhale, we'll let it go. Good, and then from right here, we're gonna roll ourselves over onto the left side and you'll press yourself up. From here, we'll set our legs up into a um, mermaid seat or a Z translation so that our left leg is out in front of us and our right leg is out beside us. Left hand's gonna come down towards your mat. Your right arm is gonna extend out towards your side. Now from here, we're gonna inhale, reach that right arm up and over. We'll exhale, come back up to center. Now I want you to use your obliques on the exhale to restack your spine and to sit up nice and tall. Good, we're gonna add on a little bit to this. Next time you reach up and over, you're gonna kick that right leg out. Good, we'll pull things in, bend the right knee, you come back into that starting position. Reach up and over, kick that right leg, bend the knee, lower it down. Let's do three more, three. We'll go two. And then last one. Good, then from here, we're gonna come all the way down onto our left forearm, so your shoulder's right on top of your elbow. We've got a lot of space here between us and our mat, and you're gonna shift your weight so that you're all the way on that left hip, right hip stays lifted. From here, we'll bend about 90 degrees in the right leg. You're just gonna take an exhale, lift that shape up. We'll inhale to take it right back down. We'll lift and lower. Good. Let's do about four more right here. Four. We'll go three. This will be two. And last one, you're gonna hold your right leg up. You're just gonna kick and bend. We'll do that six more times. We kick and bend. We'll kick and bend. I stopped counting, but I think this is four. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, this is gonna be three. We'll go two. Last one, you're gonna kick that right leg out. Sweep it back so the leg is right down in line with the hip. You're just gonna lower and lift. We'll lower and lift, lower and lift for six more. Six, we'll go five, this is four, three, two, and last one.
Good, from right here, you lower that right leg all the way down. We're gonna press ourselves up off of that forearm. And then you're gonna bring your legs back together. We're gonna to start to work through our bottom leg. So we'll actually come back onto the left forearm. You're gonna use your right leg as a kickstand to open up the hips, plant the right foot down on the mat. From here, we'll kick that left leg out nice and long. So long line from the tip of the toe all the way into the hip. And from here, we'll just lift and lower that left leg. Exhaling to lift inhaling to lower. Now I did something similar to this probably about two weeks ago. We used a weight, we used the ball underneath us. A lot of people said they were having a, a tough time with this one on their hips. So if you feel like your hip is shearing against the mat, I want you to open your hips up just a little bit more so that your hips are kind of all the way squared off towards the ceiling. If your hips are fine, you're gonna tilt open just a little bit, kind of pushing that right hip forward. Let's do three more, three, we'll go two, and one, hold right there. We'll take an inhale to bend the knee, pull the heel to the shin. Exhale, kick it right back out. We'll bend and kick, we'll bend and kick. See if you can push into your right heel to help your body stabilize a little bit more. Let's do four more, four, we'll go three, this is two. And last one, you're gonna keep your knee bent, lower your heel down towards your right ankle. We'll exhale to slide that left heel up towards the right knee. We'll inhale, slide it right back down. I'm only gonna make you do six of these. So six, we'll go five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to bring your heel about halfway on your shin. We're gonna play that shin like a violin. We'll push forward and then pull back. Push forward and pull back. Just like you're trying to slice your shin in half. We're gonna do this about four more times because it's not so fun. Four, we'll go three, two, oh my gosh, and last one. Ouch, bring that left leg down, take a breath. You're gonna bring the right leg in to meet it. And then we'll press ourselves up. We're gonna end up face, um, facing down onto the mat. Your hands are gonna come underneath your shoulders, knees walk back, so we're in a modified plank position. From right here, we'll take an inhale to bend through the elbow as you lower your chest down towards the mat. We'll exhale to press away and then press your hips back towards your heels. Find a child's pose. We inhale, pull it forward. We bend the elbows, lower down. Exhale, press away. Hips back to heels. Find that child's pose. Let's do five more. Four. We'll go three. Two. And last one. Whew, good. <laughs> Sit back into that child's pose. Hold right there, pressing the heels of the hands down into your mat. Take a big, deep breath, big inhale. Ah, we'll exhale, let it all go. <sighs> good. From right here, we're gonna come on to our right side. We'll set up to do all of that again on this side. So right leg's gonna come out in front of you, left leg's gonna come right beside you. We'll start off taking the right hand down towards our side, right onto the mat. Left arm's gonna come out beside you. We take an inhale to reach the left arm up and over. We'll exhale to squeeze into the obliques. You're gonna restock your spine in space. Now we're trying to reach the left hip down towards the mat, which for some of us is gonna be nearly impossible for those of you with very flexible hips. It may be a little bit more possible for you and that's awesome. I'm very happy for you if that's the case. But on the flip side, those of us with tight hips, your left hip may not be able to press down at all and that's okay. Good, we're gonna add on a little bit to this. Next time that we reach up and over, we're gonna kick that left leg out. We'll pull back in, bend through the left knee. Now I Somehow I got a little bit wonky over here. <laughs> That's okay. If things feel really different on this side, that is honestly pretty normal. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'd honestly actually be more worried if it didn't feel different. Let's do three more. Three. We'll go two. 
and last one. Good, then from here, we're gonna come all the way down onto that right forearm. We've got a whole lot of space underneath us and our mat. Your elbow stacked right, on, or sorry, your shoulder stacked right on top of your elbow. Now from right here, we'll keep that left knee bent. You're just gonna exhale, lift the leg up, inhale, take it right back down. We lift and lower, lift and lower, good. It's tough. So if this feels hard, just take a second, breathe, reset. I've gotten a lot of comments recently saying that my workouts are pretty difficult and challenging. So you have full permission to stop at any point and just take a deep breath, recoup, meet me back when you're ready. We're gonna do three more right here. Three, we'll go two, and last one. We're gonna lift the leg, you hold it there. You'll kick your leg out, bend it back in. We kick and bend, we'll kick and bend. Let's go for four more, four, we'll go three, this is two, and last one. Keep that leg nice and long. We're gonna lower and lift. We lower and lift. I hope we didn't do a whole lot on the other side because I don't wanna do a whole lot on this side. Ouch. Let's do four more. Four. We'll go three. This is two. And last one. We're going to take that left leg all the way down. Take a breath. Take a second. We're going to bring the legs in towards each other. Press up for just a second so that we can set up to do that inner thigh stuff. Now on the right leg, when you're ready, we come back down onto that right forearm. We're going to open up the hips kick standing that left leg back behind us, anchoring the left heel down into your mat so that right leg can extend out nice and long. Same thing with the first side. If this already doesn't feel comfortable on your hips, you're just gonna open them up a little bit more towards the ceiling, open up your chest, we'll move from there. If you feel fine right here, we wanna think about trying to push that left hip forward just a little bit. Now from here, we'll take the right leg. We're just gonna lift and we'll lower. I say it like it's easy, it's gonna be really challenging, but it's just challenging enough that we can do it, right? Good, lift and lower. We'll lift and lower, perfect. Lift and lower, let's do six more. Lift and lower, that was maybe ambitious. <laughs> lift and lower, we'll go for four. This is three, two, and last one, we hold the right leg up. You're gonna bend your knee, tap your shin, kick right back out. We bend and kick, we'll bend and kick. Good, six more, six, we'll go five, four, you've got it, three, this is two. And last one, you bend your knee, hold it right there. You're gonna lower your heel down towards your ankle. We'll exhale, slide that heel up towards the knee. Inhale, take it back down. I don't think we did a lot on the first side. We're just gonna go six more, six. Whoo, we'll go five. Check in with your form on that right side, shoulder right over the elbow, press up and away from the mat. Good, we just have two. Last one, you're gonna find your halfway point on your shin. We're playing this left leg like a violin. You're gonna push that leg forward and then like you're trying to saw your shin in half, you pull the leg out. Push forward, pull out. Let's go for six more, six. Yeah, I feel like my leg's gonna fall off. It won't, I swear, I swear. I do this stuff with humans all the time and like we always make it through, we're pretty resilient. This is three. I make it sound like I'm a robot. I'm not. Two. And last one. Good. We'll take everything in. Ouch. Just drop that right leg down. And then one more time, we're going to roll ourselves up and over. So we come face down on the mat. Hands are going to come down to your mat. We're going to walk, um, walk the knees back just so that they're right underneath your hips. So we're kind of in a tabletop position. From right here, right leg's gonna go back behind you and we'll take an inhale to tap the elbows down, kick that right leg up. We'll exhale to press away, bring the right toes back down towards your mat. Okay, we're gonna inhale, tap those elbows, kick the right leg up. We exhale, take it back down, tap the right toes. 
Good. We're going to do four more right here. Four. We'll go three. Two. And last one. And then we're just going to switch over to the other side. Right leg comes in, the knee's right underneath the hip. You're going to shoot that left leg back. We inhale to tap the elbows down, lifting the left leg up. We'll exhale, press into the heels of the hands. Press away, tap those left toes down. Bend and press. Bend and press for four more. Bend and press. Bend and press. This is going to be two. And last one. Good. We're going to take everything in. Pull that left knee in and then press your hips back towards your heels. Take a nice deep breath. Good. From right here, one more thing for us to do. We're going to lay all the way down onto our mat. Your hands are going to come right by your sides. Feet are going to walk out about mat's distance apart. Press the tops of your feet down in towards your mat. From right here, we'll take a big exhale to lift the chest off of the mat. You're going to push the fingertips back towards your heels. We'll inhale up at the top. We'll exhale, take it right back down. Four more times like that. Big exhale, lift. And then lower. Good. We'll go three more. Lift. And then lower. And we'll go lift. And then lower. Last one we're going to lift. You'll hold it all the way up. You're going to lift your legs as well. Now from here, we'll start to swim or kick through the legs. And we're going to add on a little bit of movement with the arms. We'll sweep the arms forward. Reach those fingertips out in front of you. We'll exhale, sweep the arms right back out. Good. And hopefully you're not so close to a wall that you whack it as you circle the arms out and around. Good. Let's do this three more times. And then we get a child's pose. We made it to the end. This is going to be three, two, and last one. Good. Once you take that last one, legs come down, hands come right underneath your shoulders. We're going to press ourselves up and back into a child's pose. Hips to heels. Reach those arms long in front of you. Take a big deep breath. After we do back extension like that, a child's pose is always a really good stretch to come into. So just hang out here for a second. It should feel, it should feel nice. It should feel like a good counter stretch for sure. Big inhale. Exhale, let it all go. And then from here, we'll pull ourselves up into a tabletop position, shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees. We'll take an inhale to dip the belly down, open up the chest, draw those shoulder blades together. We'll exhale to press into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up, look back to the tops of your legs. Good. One more like that. We inhale, dip it down. Oh, good. We'll exhale, press away. Good. Okay. From here, we're going to take the legs in from underneath us. We'll just take a figure four stretch to wrap this up and then you guys are good to go. Hands can come right. I don't know why I like angled myself so weird on the mat. Hands are going to come behind you. We'll keep the left foot down on the mat. You'll cross the right ankle right over the top of your left knee. Now you can press your chest a little bit closer towards your legs. So we get more stretch through the outside of the right hip. We'll just hold right here for three, for two, and one, take things in. We'll just switch over to the other side. Right foot down, left ankle over the top of the knee. Press the chest forward if that feels good. Whew, we'll hold right here for three, for two, and one. Go ahead and take everything in. Take any other stretches that you feel like you need. Remember, you guys are awesome. You can do anything that you put your mind to, and I'll see you in our next video. I just can't resist, oh. You got me drinking love,